Okay. Um, so a couple things have happened. Uh, I tried printing something off last night and uh, this happened. And if you look, you can kind of see that the uh, things that were printing off kind of gradually moved over to the right again. And some of these actually moved down as well. So I decided to do all the uh, tests again. And I uh, didn't really do them yesterday just because it was already a long video. So I thought I would do it again today. And I've already printed off a couple of uh, these uh, print bed tests here and what I've decided to do on this is you can always tell where the this corner is because it's got a, a large glob right there so what I did was I measured just a little bit over from the corner about right there turn that so you can see it yeah, about right there. The reason being is that when it, I thought about it, and you know, I was yesterday I was a little bit confused on where exactly I was supposed to measure. Well, when the printhead comes down, it does this first, then it goes this way, gets to this corner, and it stops. Then it starts up again, going this way. So I figured measuring on this side would probably be best. Um, and so I've done that. And then I've gone into my uh, computer over here. Let me pull that up. So, like I was saying, uh, I got in here, I did my, uh, these two options in here, and I did that, and then I came over here, and I redid all of these corners. Uh, if it was larger than 0.4, I hit down, and if it was higher, which there weren't any that were higher, uh, I mean, uh, excuse me, lower, uh, then I, you would hit up. Um, all of mine were off by a bit, so I use this top one here to affect all the corners at once. Also, don't forget, if you're using uh, painter's tape, that that is uh, 0.1 millimeters tall, roughly. So you will have to maybe use this up here to take that into effect. So I've done that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print uh, another one of uh, the uh, backlash tests. So to do that, you've got to go into expert mode. And there's another way of actually doing it. If you go down to this bottom corner right here, and there's a... Uh, um, M3D icon right here. If you double click on that, it brings up the uh, advanced settings. And the reason I bring this up is because uh, this is a handy way, like if you're trying to put the blue tape down and the printer head is too low, um, you can come over here and hit the up button and it will move your print head up. And you can move it to the right or to the left, up, or excuse me, back and forward. So uh, up here I'm going to type in uh, the word backlash. i got to switch computers real quick to do that because that computer doesn't have a keyboard. Alright. B-A-C-K-L- a S H send and this is uh, this is PLA <coughs> PLA so I'm gonna hit OK and OK and OK and so now it's gonna print and this time I actually am gonna pause the video so uh, that uh, you can actually see it print and see how I measure it and everything. 
Okay, so this is done. And you can see the uh, test print right there. So I'm going to carefully try to remove this. Alright, so here's forwards. And you got to kind of keep this straight because otherwise it is going to mess stuff up. So there are four pieces of information that we need. The uh, diameter of X, the diameter of Y, where they're most circular, the height of the print, and the thickness of the base. So, I'm looking at this right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have to kind of look at this and guess where the most circular part is. What I'm looking at is the uh, um, ridge that's on there. And I want the area where the ridge is kind of the least visible. And it's very subjective and hard to, to do. So I'm going to go with about right in there. And so I'm going to measure this this way. And I get uh, 10.29. I'm going to write that in. Then I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and do the same thing again. We'll go with about right in there. Well, I got about 10.17. So, uh, when you're measuring from the uh, forwards to back, that's Y, so 10.29, and X would be 10.17. Alright, now I need to measure how thick the base is. And I have got... 1.42 and then the height of the print itself thirty one point six okay So here, here's my information. Now I'm going to go uh, write this down in the formula real quick. So here's uh, my completed formula. X minus the thickness of the base divided by the height minus the thickness. Then down here, same thing except we plug in Y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put this string up here into Google search engine and get the answer. It'll do the math for you. Then I'm going to do the same thing down there. Okay, so uh, first thing, always uh, double check this, that you entered everything correctly on here. Check it against the formulas in the document uh, that I've attached down there in the descriptions uh, because I noticed that I forgot to put the times one and times two here on the end and that's going to throw off your answer. So here's my answer right here. Now I'm going to switch back over to the uh, uh, settings and make some adjustments. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on preprocessor settings. And I'm going to look right here, X backlash should be 2899. And then down here under Y, I came up with 5878. Oops. 878. That just must be not showing up right on my screen. Okay. Alright, hit OK. And uh, close this. And I like to go on and close the program before I open it back up. But uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Now I'm ready to start trying some uh, test printouts. Uh, just to kind of go over a couple of things that I'm uh, currently working on. Uh, the biggest project I've got going on is I'm trying to put together a, uh, an entire Terminator arm, a full-size arm, using the Micro 3D. Uh, so of course this print is way too small, but as luck would have it, I found on Thingiverse somebody who'd broken it down into parts. And each STL file is a different, like, uh, a different part. So what I've done is I'm taking those and I'm organizing them a little bit better for the micro. And uh, basically, I can print uh, each finger in one go. And then I can print uh, the wrist... And then I think the rest of it I may or may not print. I haven't made up my mind. There's a video that shows you how to make a, uh, a Terminator arm out of dowel sticks, which was how I was originally going to do this. But I thought, um, you know, why not try 3D printing it first? But if I try to print the whole arm, it's going to take a week. So if I just do the fingers, which are the most kind of delicate part, uh, and then just do the rest out of dowel rods, uh, like in the video, I think I could save myself a ton of time. So that's what this was here. This is uh, part of the finger joints here. So I'm going to try to print those again and see how well it works. And I'll see you all next time.